Hey guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here, and I am back with a video, actually. Wow, shocker, surprise. <laughs> yes, I'm still making YouTube videos. Uh, yes, I feel like this is an excuse I go through every once in a while, but I kind of just got super busy because, again, I'm coming down to, like, graduating, and also I'm doing a bunch of stuff at work, so it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. But, um, I'm also getting demonetized because of uh, YouTube's dumb update. I guess demonetized isn't the right word, it's more of um, they're taking away my ability to put ads on my videos until I reach, I believe it's now a thousand subscribers and 14,000 hours of view time, which I'm sure you guys have heard all about so <laughs> I won't go into that a little more. It's just a little frustrating because I finally had some money in my AdSense account and I can't have that now and it's gonna go away. So. <laughs> But um, anyways, I'm back with a video I said I would do a long, long time ago, which is a flip through of my sketchbook. Um, I finished this one forever ago, actually, and this is actually um, the first time that I've ever finished a sketchbook, which is actually really exciting for me because I don't know what it is about me, but I would always start one and then I would never, ever finish it because I would hate what was before it and I would not want to look at it. Um, and I've been in a huge art slump that I want to say has lasted a long time honestly probably since I started school which was like three years ago um started art school of all things um but I don't know what flipped but something flipped in my mind and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna draw and if it turns out bad it turns out bad if it turns out good it turns out good and that's great and you're not gonna get any better unless you actually practice which I knew that but I could never like force myself to if that made sense um but anyways I'm gonna go through oh if I don't whack my tripod over I'm gonna go through um this whole thing I'm gonna talk about the stickers in the front first just because I think that's fun um I tend to put stickers on all my sketchbooks now just so I don't know it's fun to look at and it's fun to um just check them out and there's also like just memories behind all of them now I know this one is one from um California Adventure when they did this whole superhero quiz thing and I got Captain America so I guess I'm Captain America which I will take. Um, these three were at my school when I did a gallery event. They were just out on the table in the student lounge and me and my friends were able to grab just some stickers so I slapped them on there. Um, <laughs> these fun little sushi ones, if you can actually see them, they were um, in the video where my friend Jason and I went to a conveyor belt sushi restaurant which was really awesome and those were the ones that we got out of the little um gashapon thing and then I got these pokemon stickers actually as an extra when I ordered something from it was some wholesale something for craft supplies and they gave me those as an extra and then this is from when I got my um ipad so I just stuck that on there anyways I noticed that the front page doesn't have anything but um I started this sketchbook actually at vidcon of um this year and I was just I, I I had given up kind of on drawing even though I doodled places but I had a pen and um I was just writing down notes and then little notes for tutorials and I of course never filmed you know no big deal and I was very mad at the pen I was using just because it was dumb and it was something that VidCon gave me but they were just doodles and stuff this is a series that I still want to do which um I want to crochet youtubers and stuff and um, I also want to do a tutorial for a Guardians of the Galaxy um, Walkman purse so but these were the youtubers I wrote down that I wanted to crochet really badly of course my friend Hannah's on there and we got Delastic Radio JH so Craftastic um, Ruth from XOS Rufus uh, Chad Allen Micro Guardian and the Hollycopter those are all people that I've watched for so long <laughs> and then of course I'm gonna do Markiplier and stuff like that but I wanted to get like the people that have inspired me a lot out first. Um, just more sketchy sketches. I don't know what that guy is. I know I kept drawing my little cuttlefish in like different poses around like teacups and stuff like that. Um, oh, okay. Uh, this is when, can you even see that? I saw Book of Mormon and um, this is, I copied this off of another artist entirely. I was just trying to get faces down and I really loved her style. I honestly forgot which one it was, which I feel really bad about that. Um, I'll see if I can find it and link it, but this is not mine at all. And um, this was, I was in class and um, someone was eating chips and I have something called misophonia, which um, really sets me off, I guess is a weird way to describe it when I hear chewing 
or certain trigger noises and um I get really upset and that was just like <laughs> oh that sounds like such a poor way of describing it oh but yeah it's it's a thing and it's not fun so that was a, like a vent doodle um again I was copying off of another artist or was it poses it was poses I think um, this is Jeremy from Be More Chill. I got an Elder Prize up in the corner with a Mickey Mouse hat on. Um, this is like a weird cuttlefish squid thing. I don't know. This was before I started drawing on both sides of the pages, which just irritates me now. <laughs> because now I draw on both sides of the pages, and now I'm like, oh, well, I wasted so many pages. Um, I tried to draw the squid from Be More Chill without any references. Um, this I used a reference photo. It's a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. I um, did this at my cousin's kitchen counter actually when I was um, watching her house and some little doodles of some fruits and like a cactus and stuff like that with faces on them. This was also at my cousin's kitchen counter. Um, this weird Satan thing. I don't know what I was doing with that and a snake that I couldn't figure out his body so I erased it. Um, another Elder Price. Wow, well, what do you know? Um, another cuttlefish. I don't know what I put on him. I don't know why I did that. Um, this was one of, was it like one of the first art videos I put on my channel? Um, it's Wizard Brown from Falsettos. Um, I've, my art style has changed drastically already in like a sketchbook. It's so weird to see this. I might go back and redraw that because it's been like a year. Um, I tried to draw Merlin from BBC's Merlin. Um, I used a photo reference of the actor. Why can't I remember his name? Colin... Morgan? I almost said Colin Firth. It's definitely not Colin Firth. And a dragon eye down there. Oh, there's the baby Groot. And a pot. Um, oh, these are... <laughs> this is a classic case of Megan gets too ambitious and then never follows through with anything. Um, when I went to Florida for my birthday, I wanted to do 21 art drops because I was turning 21. And I plotted out every single one of them that I would do where and then I procrastinated and procrastinated and I never got any of them done and I finally made like just ones that were half done that I wasn't really proud of and some of my like normal ones and then we got down to Florida and Hurricane Irma happened if you haven't seen some of those videos already that I've posted so um I basically didn't do any of them so that was exciting and that was like months of me teasing it and stuff and I feel really bad about that. Um, I tried to draw Michael from Be More Chill. Um, that's Taco from Adventure Zone. Um, oh, this was me in class. Um, I was trying to plot out my four horsemen characters for a um, pre-portfolio class. It wasn't turning out well. I'm not proud of that. Um, I tried Famine and I tried to do some weird design for her. I don't know what I was doing. But, um, yeah, and this was also in my pre-portfolio. Um, that was a sketch off of a painting of someone's rendition of war. Um, I think that was going to be Pestilence. I can't remember. I was inspired by photos and stuff like that. Um, there's my Dear Evan Hansen phase or the start of it. I don't even know. But completely without references, which I need references so bad. Again, we got Book of Mormon stuff. That's supposed to be Elder McKinley. No idea who that is. And it's just a doodle. Um... <laughs> This is like another supposed to be Velociraptor, but I stylized him for some reason and then I had markers, so I, I don't know. And there's Abigail. I have this weird fish lady. Um, her name's Abigail. She lives at the bottom of the ocean and she eats bones and she is very happy. I think I used Copics for this. I was trying to like blend and shade and stuff like that. Um, oh, this was during a class we had this wonderful guy named um, Cliff Cramp. He came to our school and he was giving um, kind of like a speech on how he on how he paints and stuff like that. It was a little workshop and he's awesome. You'll probably notice some of his work from um, Star official Star Wars art actually. He's a really great guy. He's super cool. Um, check him out. I'll put his Instagram down below. But um, yeah I just wrote down little notes and I was just doodling with a pen. Again there's Taco. Um more just vent doodles I guess I have no idea what that is that's just there a jellyfish that failed that you can't even see at all um oh I got acrylic paint I was messing with acrylic paint for like the first time in my sketchbook and um I did this little yeti guy that's based off of one that I've crocheted before 
Oh, this was plotting for my, I still need to do the other one, for my Aziraphale and Crowley paintings from um, Good Omens. Um, the Aziraphale one I filmed and I did post on my channel. That was my first like acrylic on canvas that I sat down and did officially. Um, this was supposed to be War from um, Good Omens. And there's a little Aziraphale that I did white gel pen on ink. A little Totoro and a bunny thing. I don't know what that is. Um, I guess that's supposed to be me. I remember drawing this in class and wanting it to be me because I drew a hand and then I was like, oh, okay, we'll just extend that downwards. There's another more plotting for my Aziraphale painting. Um, gosh, it still endlessly irritates me that I didn't use both sides of the pages. Um, <laughs> more falsetto stuff. I was trying, I was going to put more of them on here. I was trying a different style. There's Wizard, that was Marvin. And then I think I was going to put Trina and Mendel down here. Um, <laughs> flipping through this is fun because I forgot some of the stuff already. Here's my little lizard man. Oh, good. I did date. Well, I didn't. I'm mad that I didn't date these. I dated the year. It gets, says MK17, but I didn't date like the day. That irritates me because now I date everything. Um, there's another acrylic painting of some ice cream. I just wanted to use some pastel colors that I had. Was that supposed to be Famine? I think I was trying to draw Famine as she is in my story. <laughs> that's, um, that's Pestilence, um, as he is in my story a little bit. He's, they're, they're, um, they're teenagers, I should say. They're, well, Death's the oldest one. She's in her 20s. War's the second oldest. Um, Famine's the, um, second to last. And then he, um, uh, Pestilence is the last one. I'm almost saying they're human names that I gave him. But, um, that's Pestilence. He's a little brat. Um, that was supposed to be Marvin from Falsettos. All I had was crayons. Um, oh, I started trying watercolor. And there was a squirtle. And this was before I knew that watercolor has to dry before you put anything next to it. Um, there's a little snail I did in watercolors. I need to find this palette because I don't know where it is. Um, again, planning for my failed art drops for Florida. That's Aladar. There's a watercolor cat. There was, oh, this is on my channel. Um, I did a speed paint of a num noms that I opened. And again, I didn't know that watercolor had to dry <laughs> around it before you put other colors down. So that bled entirely. Um, if I don't hit this. Oh, I was, pl again, more failed um, stuff for Florida. I was plotting wood pieces that I was going to paint on. I actually did the Madame Leota one and I ended up dropping it at Disneyland here in California. But there was Remus Lupin in his younger years and Harry. This is when I was like experimental. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is. I don't know what half the stuff is, but that's fine. That's the fun part of looking through your sketchbook. Um, oh, there's, um, Heather. Well, it was inspired by Heather, um, Chandler. From Heather's the musical um, when she's dead of course but yeah I just wanted to use Copics that was in the middle of class there's another Elder Price and a weird dino out of acrylic paint um, this was a Sharpie sketch of the Matterhorn while I was waiting for my mom um, this was actually also the same day that we saw Neil Patrick Harris twice at Disneyland he just like walked by us and I was like oh my god that's Neil Patrick Harris and I flipped out um, some more Sharpie sketches. I'm, I haven't practiced perspective since I took the class like three years ago. So that trash can turned out horrible. And then there's a little tree. I want to get better at like landscapes. Um, there's, this was also at Disneyland. So there's, these were all on the same day. Um, Mickey balloon, a fluorescent Dole Whip, which is inspired by these plushies that they sell in the park and a Mickey hat. And then Slime Rancher Doodles, because I was playing that obsessively. So we have the pink slime and we have one of the tars, which is our fun. Um, again, oh, there's a, are those the rock slimes? I think that's the rock slime. Rich from Be More Chill and then just a mermaid tail. Um, oh, I was preparing for Inktober, which I failed. Um, <laughs> but there's some ink testing. I got an ink pen and this was ink testing too. And then I mod podged like a bunch of glitter onto the bottom unevenly for some reason. I don't know why. Um, another Inktober test. There was a jellyfish and then an actual fish. More Inktober tests. They were just doodles. This was loosely inspired by that, um, 
possum thing in, um, was it Lester's Possum Park in the Goofy movie? When he's like, who's your favorite possum? That's what that guy is. And then an angry Batman up there. Uh, this was the start of Inktober. So I know this one was done October 2nd because I was behind. Um, did I give him too many toes? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, he has five. Okay, um, it's a Dimetrodon, which is a dinosaur. I have this, obviously it's a dinosaur. I have this big book of dinosaurs that I like looking at because I love dinosaurs. So there he is, special boy. Um, oh, it's, it's Jake Peralta. I was like, who is this? And why did I write this? <laughs> I started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and that was the very first episode and it was supposed to be Jake Peralta and it was Fuzzy Cuddle Bear, Nanny Cam. I, okay, I remember now. Some weird vampire dude where I just wanted to use weird Copic colors. Um, this was day two of Inktober. This is Simon Monroe from In the Flesh. Um, I was trying to draw Morticia Adams and then I got mad at it. Day did I post this for day three? I don't know. It was just, I just really wanted to black out most of the page. Um, this might have been day three. I can't remember. Um, it's Veronica from Heathers. I might redraw that one too because I think I've improved since then as well. Um, there's a bunny and some dripping ink just because I was having so much fun with those pens. Um, this was part of my class. We had to design ourselves kind of. Um, so I was drawing. I, I don't have any consistent style, I guess, of like what I wear as a human being. <laughs> so I'm like, I either wear sweatshirts, a dress, or like crop top stuff. It just depends on how I feel. Uh, oh, this is my character. This is Muse. He's one of my first original characters. Um, I love him. But there's Taco. Again, I was getting the hold of those pens. And I was sketching out storyboards for a class I was doing. I was animating Taco with the scenes from um, from Rogue One where he's like, oh, where are you taking these prisoners? And he's like, oh, these are these are prisoners. Um, we're getting close to the end here. This is my favorite man pumpkin thing from um, Over the Garden Wall. I love him. His name's Edoc, I think. But I love him so much. So I drew him and Oswald up the top and then I was messing with ink because I got like actual in the bottle ink <laughs> um, India ink yeah so there's wort and then I was just messing with different values um I was getting frustrated because I was at the end of the sketchbook and I just wanted to fill it so there's Simon again there's a beta fish Ooh, if I don't hit this one of my candy corns and a cowfish um and these pages are falling out. These are a little cactus that I was plotting for a commission. A moon calf. That was supposed to be a moon calf. Um, it failed from um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And a puff skein. And I think that's it. Is that it? That's it. Wow. Those pages are falling out now. But yeah. That is my sketchbook tour. Um, I should hopefully have another one within a couple weeks. Depending on how filling it goes. But this is pretty much my 2017 sketchbook into 2017 sketchbook. Well, it kind of was sporadic because VidCon and then there was a huge break and then more in here. But yeah, so um, that's it, I guess, for that sketchbook. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see and you like how I'm an awkward human being, I guess. I don't know how I exist. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!